Feature race then on Wednesday night is the Police Cup. It's race number six, 1800 metres. It's the trip. It's a class three contest headed by Sacred Ibis. One over the mile at Chartin, two back. 1800 for the first time for him. Nam John plus three from four, course and distance. Helene Charisma, third behind. Nam John plus last time out. Red Aliso is the last start winner over this trip at Chartin. Figure fame, runner up behind Nam John plus two starts back. And you have my word, who is uh, a course and distance winner uh, in a lower grade. From barrier four. Helene Charisma, a famous warrior. The two horses have been up at Chungfa in the last month. Brett, how does this uh, all play out? Well, the pace possibly slow. Uh, maybe Red Elise uh, leads initially. I think famous warrior has a chance, should he get his engine up and going, of pushing forward and maybe trying to cross and bigger fame. Faithful Trinity has the opportunity to kick up from a low barrier. Outside of that, a lot of the others get back, so uh, maybe a slowish pace at least through the first few hundred. Uh, Namjong Plus, he's thriving in the mornings. He's the one closest to us. Now, he's working with Music Edition. He'll be um, one of the favourites in the last. You can see him going really nicely here, Namjong Plus. And he's the last start winner, so he, he's held his form together really nicely. This horse, he's as a course and distance specialist. Red Alisa, he was an impressive winner last time. They changed the tactics and went forward on him. Be interesting to see if they do that once again. But he's, his Happy Valley record isn't that good. That's the only query with him. Um, two starts there and hasn't really featured. And Faithful Trinity, just a nice, quiet piece of work for him. Here he's getting down on the ratings now, down to a rating of 61. But he's got barrier number one with a light weight and uh, should get a nice run in transit as well. All right, we've got a couple of horses to, to look at here. We'll start off with Nam Jong Plus, who's nearly got the perfect record course and distance with Vigor Fame and Helene Charisma in behind. I think there's a bit of money for Vigor Fame this day and odds. Yeah, there or was. Nice. And he ran uh, quite a Herculean race, all considered. He was up on the pace, there was a lot of pressure early. There's quite a few horses that have come out and won in behind him, including Planet Star. But Nam Jong Plus is building a really nice record at the Valley. Five starts, three wins. Yeah, and really nice. I'm going to side with him as well. I think he's going really well at the moment. This is his go, course and distance-wise. On paper, it doesn't show there's uh, much pace in the race. That was the little query. But there's horses like Vega Fame and also Red Elisa, which I think can inject a little bit more. All right, well, let's have a look at Red Elise. In actual fact, it's uh, Chartin last time out up on speed. This was over the 1800 metres, too. I think they'll do this again. They, they went right onto the pace of this, and it obviously worked. And he, he won most impressively. He ran away. He'd been a bit unlucky in a few of his runs. He'd been crowded. I wouldn't be surprised if they tried to take luck out of the equation here. And uh, he, they did uh, go to the front. If they do, that'll inject a little bit of pace, and that my other horses need. <laughs> Sylvester de Souza was aboard here. He won well in a lower class. Sylvester will ride uh, Vigor Fame. Um, I found it hard to leave him out readily, so, but I have. All right. OK, what about you have my word? Um, in a lower class, he's got a pretty decent turn of foot. He gets in with a very light weight, but um, he's struggled in this grade in the past. He has, but I think he's going well. As you say, a good barrier, light weight. Um, second behind Amazing Agility, fourth behind Happy Dragon, last start. That was from a wide gate. I'm going to take a chance with him here. You can see the horse that runs into second. That was Brave Legend who came out and won his next start. Yeah, maybe a, maybe a chance of a lightweight for me. He rated 60, so he is actually eligible for a lower grade. All right, so Helene Carissa Paul, a 27 start maiden here in Hong Kong. His favourite for the Police Cup here. With him or against? I've got him in the numbers, but not on top, uh, Andrew. I think he, he can, he's found his grade anyway, Helene Charisma, but I like Nam Jong Plus. Only been beaten once over the course and distance, loves Happy Valley and in great form at the moment. I threw Sacred Ibis in as well. I'm going with the, with the theme here that there's going to be a bit more pace than is suggested on paper. Sacred Ibis, now he accepts up to 1800 for the first time. He's a uh, big price as well. Helene Charisma, a famous warrior, another non-winner. Two, one, four and six. Uh, I'll go Exotics. I think it's a tricky little race too, um, the Police Cup. I'll go with the two down the bottom, actually. Faithful Trinity um, has a victory over Nam Jong Plus and a few of these uh, some time back. It was uh, earlier this season. 12, you have my word. So 11 and 12, the two bottom weights over Helene Charisma and Famous Warrior, I think, will push on, try and get up on the speed. So I thought it was a tricky one to work out. Down the bottom for me. Mm. Yeah, I've got him in, but I know I've probably said never again before. Oh, you couldn't. Surely. Not at that price. He shouldn't be favourite, but Helene Cruz is a super trial up at Chung Yes, we know he's well rated and mm. very capable. All right, there you go. That's the police cup, the feature.